Asafonja wakes up at 3 o'clock every day and heads to the same spot in Ngara where he starts his day selling newspapers to customers in the passing matatus and private cars. <laughs> The cold mornings, the noise and the hassle of the speeding traffic are the hazards that Tunjau has endured for the last 27 years in his newspaper vending business. Bala nakuja ushiku na kutana maji angiri, simu nisea poteza kama ine, badu nangangana na maisha aliski ya kugongwa na gari, maisha angu ni ikuwa na mbaka ni ata leo hii, uanga na sinu maisha ya nini, naisi ya nini, juu, stress, za usingizi, kuchoka na choka extra. Kuchoka ni kawaida, lakini yangu wanga ni extra. Juu, ata kuwachi TV kwa nyumba kuona news, ni shida. Kukula chakula pali na kulanga lunch, ni shida. Juu, nakula ni kitembea. Before 1996, when he was diagnosed with arthritis, Onjao was quite agile, running after moving vehicles to sell as many newspapers as he could. Imebidi, ningangane, miku yangu ikiniuma, nikitumia madama arthritis, vile arthritis ya kuna kupona. Paka walewi na nisumbua. Mgu kwanza hii yangu ya left. Iko mbaya zaidi. Paka walewi na nisumbua. Lakini na nibidi nijikaze. He relies on his sharp memory to keep track of the matatus he distributed newspapers to in order to track them down after 10 o'clock to collect payment. Iyo kazi ndi uweze. Lazima uwe na memory. Na nilazima urisk your life. Ju sasa nililisk. Ndiyo nikapata ni kazi nilaza nisaidia. Nikabidi ni vumilie. Sasa, sijui kunaweza toka wapi mtu. Anaweza kuwa na experience kama yangu juu. Misi tumiangi bile pen. Ile kitu miu nisaidia ni memory. Hata kama ukona deni ya jana. Hata kama ni ya last year. Nita kukumbuka ni kikuona. Ivitina kuambia ulikuwa na deni yangu. Wala ulienda garage. Ama ulishikwa. Yo matatu lazima nita kukumbuka. Hata kama iliwezo. Hakuna mtu mgini anaweza na hii kazi yake. Kwa sababu mimi, hata mimi pia, amesha ni wachia. Ndareka kama kumi hivi ni muangalie, ilishindikana kwa sababu gani. Wateja wake wengi, hawalipangi hapo hapo. Waha uchukua angazeti, wanaenda wanazoma, baada ya mandareka ndiyo uja kulipa. Kwa sababu gari moja ama gari mbili, ni magari zaidi ya elfu moja ambayo unavya angazeti kama hizo. Kwa hivyo mimi, ikashindikana kwa sababu ni akima wachia hile angazeti, wale wana uatakani wapea, kama vile ye univea. Uwapea, lakini inashindikana mimi siziwezi. Siwezi, ata hiyo mangazi nikaatika manamba, siwezi kusijua. Yee usijua kwa ubali, yee usijua kwa 500 meters kutoka mahali yako na kingena kukua pezo. For private car owners, corporate and households, he collects the payment at the end of the month. First, I will have a memory. Ju, matatu lazima ni walipishe the same same day. Personal cars, na delivery kwa manyumba, wangana wapia kwa mantri. Sasa, wanga naenda kwa nyumba, nisha afika ni kuna delivery buku yangu. Na jaza ule mtu wa menilipa, paso no kasi, na hizo manyumba. Ule mtu wa menilipa, ule ajanilipa, bada ya mwezi wanga naandika bill. Mina ikona, nisha register my suppliers name. Na ituwa wali suppliers. Nikona malisiti zangu, nisha register mpaka kwa serikali hiyo suppliers. Sasa uanga nikona malisisi zangu mwisho wa mwezi ikifika na draft vile ni mekudeliva gazeti na pelekea mtu invoice. The way he conducts his business and his kind heart has endured him to most of his clients. Ye ya mekua hapa kwa muda mbrefu, kwa ajili ya ukarimu wake na pia kwa bidi yake ya kufanya kazi. Though slowed down by arthritis, Wanjao is not about to quit yet. Recalling the match he has done for his three daughters, from his earnings as a newspaper vendor. Well, you had it, viewers. Asaf Wanjao is passion-driven, brilliant, and a very hard-working family guy. If it was not for arthritis, Wanjao could do this till the end of time. Reporting for Channel One, I'm Maureen Karibania.